Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learnings from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence on the internet. Each week, I interview an industry expert on a single topic. We encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Chris Anderson, Assistant Professor at the Cornell School of Hotel Administration. Chris's main research focus is on revenue management and service pricing. He has worked with a variety of hotels, airlines, rental car and tour companies, as well as numer numerous consumer packaged goods and financial services firms in the application and development of revenue management. Dr. Anderson's research has been funded by numerous governmental agencies and industry partners. And he serves on the editorial board of the Journal of Revenue and Pricing Management and is the regional editor for the International Journal of Revenue Management. Chris, uh, thank you uh, for joining us on VTV again and welcome. All right, thanks, John. It's my pleasure. Uh, our our topic today, the role of opaque sites in the travel planning process. Uh, you've done a fair amount of research and work in the setting of prices on opaque sites. And I think our audience would be interested in learning and understanding how they could better use uh, opaque sites in their e-business efforts. So let's start off with, um, can you uh, give us a, a, an understanding of opaque sites and what role they play in the travel planning process? Okay, sure, John. So basically, you know, an opaque travel site, you know, the two most common examples uh, being hot wires, posted price, opaque mechanism, or price lines, name your own price, bidding mechanism, are both online travel agents uh, where part of the service experience is disguised until after, uh, you know, basically post-confirmation, right? And so basically as the consumer, you are electing to, uh, you know, acquire a one-night stay in a four-star hotel in Times Square in New York City, and you're indifferent to what four-star property that might be, right? Uh, and so it's a, it's a product that really is attractive to sort of value-seeking value uh, non-brand loyal consumers, right? So, you know, basically I'm not all that loyal to sort of Marriott or Hilton, um, but basically I'm interested in a level of experience, right? So it's a four star or four and a half star. And so I visit one of these opaque travel sites, I acquire service at a substantive discount. So price line, you're basically looking at roughly a 50% discount to retail rates and hot wire somewhere around, you know, 35 or 40% discount uh, typically to those retail rates. And so as the consumer, I'm getting a great deal. Uh, what comes with that deal is some uncertainty about who my actual service provider is, but especially in the U.S., you know, we're pretty consistent about quality across the different star levels. And it's in the, these opaque OTAs' best interest to also maintain that, that sort of quality across those four stars. So they do a very rigorous job of, of monitoring who's a four star, who's a three star, and so on. And so as far as the hotelier goes, it's a, you know, it's a natural form of segmentation, right? Historically, in revenue management, we have tried to segment customers through artificial restrictions or like a 21 day advance purchase or the classic airline one is a Saturday night stay that if you're willing to stay Saturday night, therefore you must be a leisure traveler. If you're not willing to stay Saturday night, you must be a business traveler looking to get home to your family. So we've put on these art artificial restrictions that allow us to have variable prices in an effort to segment customers into the extreme being business versus leisure. Whereas these opaques naturally segment customers into this, you know, basic value-seeking brand switcher and allows you to price into that segment while maintaining higher prices at your regular, you know, we'll call them retail outlets. So it allows you to have multiple prices in the market at one time, reaching very distinct segments 
and you know, basically not diluting your demand. Right? The argument when we have variable prices is that somebody who was willing to pay more ends up you know, buying down and paying less. But because of the, the issues associated with the uncertainty with the opaques, they really uh, form a natural segmentation of customers. Right? And then my main focus has been on helping hotels use these mechanisms more efficiently. And so uh, historically, as a, a general manager or revenue, management, revenue, revenue manager, we have very finite data on the market. You know, we basically have sales transactions and we try and use those sales transactions to infer demand. But these opaque sites provide uh, the property with, you know, on Priceline standpoint, all the bids that are coming through their mechanism. And on the hot wire side, all the looks that are coming through their mechanism. So you really have a really good idea of what demand is. And then you can sort of more, you know, uh, scientifically set prices into those markets to make sure that they yield higher, right? And so these are, both mechanisms are mechanisms that are going to drop your ADR, right? You're going to price lower, so they're going to decrease your ADR. But because it's incremental demand, it's going to improve your rev par. Right, so if you focus on RevPAR, these are exceptional mechanisms to use. Keep in mind that your ADR is going to drop as you lower prices in these, in these segments. So, so let me ask you the question, what is it specifically that hotels can do to uh, optimize the value of their presence on sites like Priceline or Hotwire? You know, it basically is, you know, I would... I would say start to use them as soon as possible and, you know, use them initially very conservatively, right? So if you think that the rates are too low, then just give them higher rates with restricted inventory, right? So you can set how many rooms they have for um, what arrival day. What I typically recommend is if you're interested in these channels, then only use them day of, right? So don't start using these opaque channels, you know, 21 days prior to arrival, Basically, use them day of or day before. Uh, don't give them ridiculously low rates, but give them decent rates and restrict that inventory. And you'll pretty quickly see what happens, that you're going to get some, some transactions through these mechanisms. And these, you'll see this sort of bottom line rev par effects pretty quickly, right? So again, use them conservatively. Use them when you need them on day of. And you know, don't price too aggressively and sort of see what happens. Right. There's some pretty easy ways to sort of, you know, step in gingerly, uh, walk before you run kind of thing on, on a lot of these opaques. Right. So being conservative at the front end uh, and finding your way to that magic, uh, that magic number without uh, crossing over that threshold. Right. Now, again, they don't work for everybody. You know, basically, these mechanisms require a fair level of competition in the market. Right. So if we're my example area was a four star in Times Square, which works quite well because there's a lot of properties at that level in Times Square. But as right. you get to smaller markets where there's fewer properties at any given uh, star level, then it's really not all that opaque. Or if you're providing inventory to these opaques, you know, 30 days in advance, odds are very few properties are provide, probably providing inventory to those opaques that far in advance. So it's not very opaque as there does exist a series of channels like, you know, bidding for travel, these sort of blogs or, or data sources where consumers post their successes on these opaque sites, right? So what you do find is that opaque site users are hardcore loyal to that mechanism, right? And they would, you know, just like I sort of preach the use of opaques to properties, uh, there's a body of consumers who preach the use of opaques to each other. You know, I just got this great deal, right? And so... right. Uh, you know, like a fellow Canadian, William Shatner, you know, I mean, uh, it's a time for a deal. Yeah, <laughs> he certainly has uh, helped increase the level of awareness of Priceline, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Um, so it, it sounds like uh, these opaque sites um, are uh, really attractive to a very specific segment of the travel shopping uh, public, and that uh, particular uh, segment is one that has almost become brand loyal to the opaque site 
versus the hotels right. when they shop for hotels online. Right. And the reality is the only way that you would have sold a room to that individual is if you had been the cheapest, you know, four star in your market. Right. So on a regular consistent basis. On a regular consistent basis. Right. And right. so if you look at it that way, that's the only possibility you ever would have sold to that person. And odds are that if they were, you know, spending that same travel budget on retail, they'd be one or two stars below you. So it allows you to sort of price into a, a lower comp set, if you want to say it that way, uh, to this very, you know, sort of mechanism loyal versus brand loyal consumer. Right. So that's interesting. It's, it's almost like this is the alternative method to be able to uh, sell to uh, this particular segment of the population at a more profitable uh, and higher uh, price than you could uh, without the, the, uh, the opaque sites out there. Right. Chris, thank you very much for joining us uh, today on VTV. Uh, we enjoy your insights and uh, the knowledge that you, um, uh, that you provide to our audience, and uh, we look forward to having you the next time. Okay. Thanks, John. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.